Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Andrew McKenzie. I'm a product manager at Solus, and today we're going to do a product spotlight on the PubSub Plus messaging API for Python. Very excited to introduce uh, the Python API for Solus PubSub Plus because, uh, you know, depending on who you ask, Python is one of the top three programming languages in the world. Java and JavaScript kind of popping in and out on the one, two, and three as well. And you know, so there's a there's a big market demand for a Python API from Solus. It's it's really the the use cases or the applications that people are using Python for these days, such as analytics, AI, machine learning, that kind of thing, that is very exciting for us in terms of um, all of these applications require a ton of data, and what better way to move data around than with uh, event-driven architectures and applications that feed these real-time events into your analytic that you're using in your Python app application. So really excited that this API is now available for you. So what is available right now? The general availability of the 1.0 version is available from PyPy, or you can get it directly from Solus uh, on the download page, or even if you're a customer on the customer product portal. So it has a set of functionality that is not complete uh, of where we're going with it. So there's a feature release that's planned uh, for very soon in the next couple of weeks called 1.1. And it will have uh, a number of features, including the helpers for request reply messaging. Um, you'll be able to trigger replay, message replay from the API itself and support for reading and writing of messages that are using structured data types. This is really about interoperability with the other Solus APIs as they you know, will publish messages that uh, use SDTs and therefore um, the Python API needs to know how to receive those and then also be how to publish them out so that other applications using other APIs are able to, uh, to consume them. So this will start a regular uh, release cycle of every two to three months, um, we will be doing a feature release of the Python API, bringing it up to speed with uh, all the other enterprise Solus APIs, such as the, the brand new Java, which shares a lot in common with this one, uh, and the C and, and, uh, and the other APIs. You know, that includes things like Kerberos authentication, which is not there in the, in the 1.0 or, or going to be in the 1.1 release, transactions, queue browsing. We will be continually, like I said, we'll be continually bringing uh, more and more features to this to bring it with parity with the other APIs. So I'm not going to do a demo per se. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some of the uh, syntax and and how it fits and what our vision for this uh, this API really is. So I'm here in uh, Visual Studio Code, and you can see that the top level namespace is solus.messaging, and within there we have different classes of things that you can import. I wanted to sort of jump quickly down to the builder pattern. In this case, we are creating a new messaging service, which is, again, the top level object that you create for all the things you would want to do to a broker uh, when connecting to a broker and exchanging messages with it. So I'm instantiating a builder here, and I'm saying from properties broker props. And up here, I've actually set up uh, my broker properties. And so that's an object that I'm passing into this from properties. There's also things like from uh, from file, and there's other ways that you can get the connection information. But in this case, I'm using an object that I've defined within this application. So from properties that are in this class. And I'm saying with transport security, so this is um, using TLS. The, the broker that I'm connecting to is using TLS. So this is using a certificate. Uh, to do that, um, and I'm I'm defining with uh, with re reconnection strategy. So how am I going to reconnect if I am unable to? So it's going to retry twenty times and three seconds in between, I believe it is, and then it's and then it's build, which will create that uh, messaging service uh, object, and then I'm saying connect, and that will actually connect to the broker and be ready for. Um, for exchanging messages. Uh, I'm setting up a receiver down here, persistent receiver. So in this case, I am uh, receiving guaranteed messaging. 
uh, persistent message receiver. So I'm setting up a consumer, a receiver that will listen for new messages coming in um, on the queue that I have established, uh, which is up here. There's different, um, there's different uh, object types for the different types of queues. And I'm basically then saying persistent receiver. So I'm building it and then I'm starting it. And again, the builder pattern is very good for readability. I, I can tell exactly what's going on here because I'm saying, well, okay, I'm creating a message. I'm creating a, pers a message receiver for persistent messages. That's pretty clear. I am setting up a builder for it. I am then saying, this is the type of acknowledgement that I would like. And because these are methods to the builder, it allows me to have, it allows me to use IntelliSense to find the other methods that might make sense here. So I could, I could, I could partially type with here and it would give me the other message acknowledgement types like client and uh, like client acknowledge by making the methods they're not uh, they're not enumerated values for a property they're actually all unique methods within the builder uh, and it allows it a much more sort of interaction with my with my uh, IDE and it allows a much more readable style for how we're going to um, look at our code. It's very, very, very friendly towards the developer and the process of developing applications in this API. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. Uh, there is uh, py PyDocs available for all the different methods and stuff, but and and tutorials and stuff like that, which we'll talk about right now. So the resources available, there's uh, samples and tutorials on solus.dev, a uh, great place to look for uh, all kinds of resources on using, being a developer and using PubSub Plus with all the different APIs, including the Python one. You can find documentation on solus.com, in the uh, docs.solus.com in the documentation site. Uh, I'd be happy to talk with you on the community site. Feel free to come in and talk about uh, your experiences with the Python API, share your knowledge with your peers and with other Solus employees. It's a really good place to sort of have discussions about um, what, what could be and you know what your experiences are. That's uh, all my time today. Um, thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you on the community discussing Python. Thanks, bye.